something pops out at me, I swear. Good morning, you guys. We are in Budapest in the country of Hungary. And we were just day cruising three. down the street. And uh, hey, babe. Hi. Day three here. We I forced Philip to get up like super early um, this morning, only to find out that like this dumb bus thing that we got suckered into doesn't come but once every hour. So we totally didn't make it. So now we're having to walk like a mile and a half. Um, so it's just the realities of travel. But it's okay. Getting some good exercise. Getting to see the sights and walk around. So. Yeah. Can't complain too much. It's a beautiful day. It's it so really sunny. is. We've been blessed to have like extremely good weather. Babe, I gotta say, we look pretty good in these jackets you got us. I really like them. Walking past our reflection, I know they're so big. Remember when we were trying to like find one that fit us <laughs> in the in the Burlington Coat Factory? I think okay. these look really good. Yeah, they they work well for us. We really blend in well with the people here, <laughs> except for this big bulky camera. It's a dead giveaway that we're tourists. Such a clear day. We're in this bridge crossing the Danube. Look how big this thing is. We just crossed that bridge. So Budapest is split down by a river. There's a Buddha side and a Pest side. And babe, well, you just came over to the what side? The Buddha side. So like the castle district and everything is on the Buddha side. I was saying um, how, well everyone was saying how you should stay on the Pest side because there's more to do, there's more touristy and stuff. But I kind of like the Buddha side too. Not that I'd want to stay on the side. But it's just really beautiful, like with the architecture and the historical uh, background and such. So I'm excited to explore it more. We realized that this whole area is the castle district. It's not like one actual castle, which I thought. So we're just kind of walking it. We're going to find the Matthias Church and the Fisherman's Song. I think yesterday we were in kind of this building over here, the Parliament Building, um, and then the shoes on the Danube. And then today we are over here. It's so pretty. So just checking it all out. So now we're at this super cute restaurant called Pest Buddha. This place looks really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I'm excited. We got chicken papri papri don't tell me. paprika. Don't tell me. Paprikash. Well, they call it paprika, but. Well, he, says, he says it with the S. He paprikash. The waiter said it with the S. -H, okay. So that's what I say. Uh -huh. I'm excited. And I got some goulash, so it's gonna be good. Baby, this is your thing. Mm -hmm. Chilling in Europe, mm -hmm. seeing the sights, eating some lunch. Having my. This is what you live for, huh? Molly loves this. She plans it all year round and we get to go. <laughs> it's pretty great. I like Europe too. I'm just not the planner. So Molly plans it all out and then I'm like, I'm down, let's go. Dear Jesus, bless this food. Thank you for giving us this provision today. Amen. Honey, looks good, huh? What do you think, babe? Ooh, some beef in there? But it's good? <laughs> oh no. Sorry, babe. You can swap. You can have my chicken. No, no, no. What are you doing? I'm chilling before our tour starts. It's kind of looking all gross over here. I think maybe that's just the marble, but um, this is like a, a statue, the Holy Trinity statue, right in front of the Matthias Church here. Um, so we're just about to start a walking tour, a free tour, to our. We just decided to do it because we're like, well, you know, what else are we gonna do? Like, we'd like to hear some of the history and such. So, there's a lot of like UNESCO World Heritage sites around here too, so we're excited to find out about it. I'm just getting a good stretch in before we start. Supplies from outside. We're having the time to enter inside the site. For all safety and the safety of the seven tribes of Hungarians of Magyars who came and settled in this area of Carpathian Basti. How's it going, babe? It's good. I got cold, so I had to put my hoodie up. Hey, yeah, you look all buttoned up, huh? And the sun came back out, so it's starting yeah. to warm up a little bit. Yeah, it was all like stormy over there. It still is kind of a little bit, but not so much anymore. So we're just walking along with these people and our guide. I can't really hear her. Is she talking? Let's go and see. It's good luck to rub them. <laughs> it feels very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, you have good luck now. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Our guide said that kids would come and rub the balls of the horse for good luck before exams and things. So I had to give it a shot of it. 
Yeah, of <laughs> course. Think of that? Are you Too proud much. of your man getting up there? <laughs> He's really the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else wanted to do it. We're all like, ooh, yes, he could do it. What you eating there, babe? Um, some apple strudel. This is what they're known for. One of their really good things. So it's all warm and yummy. I just tasted it. It's pretty good. I'm but to, like, get a picture, which is weird, but it's kind of just like apple pie. Yeah, I mean, but that's you know what you have to eat when you're here. Mm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So something that we saw on our last tour. Well, we better do this because uh, this is super cool. It's like all underground. So what we're standing on, there's actually like a whole cave underneath here. Um, oops. So yeah, I'm excited to check it out. We thought it'd be cool. Dun 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 down into the cave. Can you film it? Yeah. We're scary. Well, this is kind of terrifying. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh. I feel like I'm in a Goonies adventure. This is cool. Wow, we really don't do it. Goodness. It's kind of scary a little bit. Hit my head. Oh no, are you serious? Barely though, I'm good. Guys, so it's kind of like getting foggy and it's also really creepy because I, I like didn't know what was in here so I shine my light and then there's just like a statue and I'm like it's all foggy, right? And it's really creepy. So let's just take a moment to go around here. Kind of weird. My camera won't even take a picture. Too dark, huh? Yeah, it's funny. It's like there we go. Dracula was born in whatever in 1431. After Dracula married, he was arrested and he spent a year imprisoned in this place, which operated as a prison and torture chamber during the time of the High and Deep. Um, the reasons for his imprisonment are controversial, blah blah, blah but. This is where he was. And it said not long after his release, he was murdered and his head was sent to the Turkish Sultan. Crazy. Oh. That's terrifying. Take my picture, babe. Oh my gosh. Wait, are you like supposed to go in there? So creepy with the music too. A little low ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, he keeps hitting his head. I wouldn't put your glasses on there. What? Oh, did you guys hear that? What is it? Did you guys, I just heard something. I just dropped. I didn't realize that the floor dropped. Sorry. What? It sounds like angels or like from Harry Potter. What'd I do? <laughs> I just ran away from her. Hey guys, I hit on Molly. I'm gonna scare her right now. Don't scare me. Ah! 
<laughs> you saw my camera. <laughs> you saw my camera. <laughs> yeah. Don't scare me. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Two little blue people. You look so good, hon. Thank you. All the lights are coming on and it's just gorgeous right now. It's a good time of day, huh? So I wanted to take you up here just because I think it's a little bit more beautiful. I think the higher you go, the more pretty, but it's just getting to be sunset. I love this little view over here. Go out and you see this just like all the lights coming on and it's just really pretty. I feel like this is a perfect end to our day. Hi, Philip down there. So yeah, I really enjoyed the castle district and all that it had to offer. <laughs>